Hey guys, second take for this uh, Nagasaki podcast episode two. Uh, today we have Yusuf here, who I had to re-record because I said a different name, the one that I actually call him most of the time, uh, and 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 a person named Faye, who I just met an hour ago. Um, I cornered two of my friends to record with me again. This is fun. This is this is a really bad format, and nobody's gonna watch this shit. So why haven't you killed yourself? Why, spite, why haven't you mostly. killed yourself? Spite? Yeah. Alright. And uh, Yusuf? Too busy. Too busy to kill yourself. Damn, you should make some time. Get but that requires, like, effort. That requires so much effort. It's not that hard. It, it takes more maintenance to keep yourself alive. I was trying to get philosophical with it. I was trying to, like, like what gives you guys hope to, to go on another day? I know you've already answered this in text chat, Yosef, but uh, I was I was hoping that I could get get it as part of the podcast, I suppose. Uh, but spite and being lazy, that's interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was younger, there was, like, the crippling fear of death being stronger than the, the loneliness and depression was. But, I mean, now it's just there's there's too much shit that I have to get done, whether or not I actually enjoy life. I'm not going to be satisfied with death until I fix a couple things. So you, you just keep yourself distracted with go with goals, basically. Yeah. All right. I, I feel... I I mean, it's it's edgy the way I just like say it, like like it's nothing. Like, oh, why haven't you killed yourself yet? It almost as if I'm trying to tell you to. But honestly, like I feel like our generation is sort of devoid of meaning and hope, and that a lot of people, you know, struggle just to get by day to day. So it, it is a genuine question that I ask people. Um, no, my real answer is I have too much to live for at this point in time. So you actually have you actually have meaning and you have like purpose. You, 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 um well it's yes and no yes and no because please, please don't get my new uh my new player to off himself before the first session discord <laughs> I want him to kill himself. I'm just asking. I'm doing bro philosophy, man. That's my favorite part of podcasting. I fucking love bro philosophy. Okay. Um, I'm at no risk of killing myself. I do not want to. I do not need to. I do not see the point in doing so. It, it's more just I've... I kind of, like, got over... A bunch of like that sucky mentality shit. Hey, Most is of that. Really garbled to you, or is it just me? Uh, I just talk quietly, and my mic decides to kill itself. You're garbled. You're not quiet. Much like Remember. you're telling it to. <laughs> Remember, if you die now, you're probably gonna get stuck being buried in a Jewish cemetery. Oh shit! Yeah, now I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm staying alive as long as I fucking can. More, more than anything, I just... Killing yourself is cringe, right? Like, it's cringe. Yeah. Like, like, like yeah. there's a stigma. There used to be a stigma. All right, I'm repeating something else someone else said here, but I think it's worth repeating. Is there used to be a stigma around, around killing yourself, right? For a long time, and like... I know you guys are both Jewish, but America and the society I grew up in was heavily Christian. Um... Killing yourself was considered murder, so you would go to hell, right? And before, even before that, there there was sort of a stigmatization of, of killing. But there's just not anymore. No, not many people really believe in hell anymore. And even those that do, they view suicide as sort of a, a an inevitability, as sort of like a like a, a a sad, almost like someone's succumbing to a sickness. You know what I mean? Um, and I think the, the people, the judgment that we pass nowadays is is through cringe and based, right? Everything is either cringe or it's based, and we're very judgmental. And I feel like, like to keep, like if if we don't re-stigmatize suicide, I worry that there won't be a Gen Beta after Gen Alpha. You know what I mean? Well, 
I ain't ever having kids, so... <laughs> Good. A little bit too late for you, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> talking to Yusuf, actually. So it's a little bit late for him. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll have at, at least, like, 20 eventually, I'm sure. That's too damn many. Just, just need to be able to afford more than one. That's too many, bro. And why are you still working? <laughs> I mean, at least, at least I find... work at the job that will give me the most money per hour possible. Yeah, oh, also, man, I bro. own you. You like money? That's playing into stereotypes, man. Right, rise above the stereotypes. Bro, oh, fuck that. Money's great. I also own shitloads of cows. Really? Wait, really? wait. You own or you livestock? want? I do not have friends to them. Motherfucker's yeah, making his own shtetl. Pretty much. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't take care of them. And they are not in a pasture that I own, but I own the cows. What do you mean by that, then? Oh, is it some, like, state fair you won that shit through, like, a... a game of bobbing for apples or some shit? No. Um, business contracts with, uh farm well ranchers in uh kentucky and kansas do you make money off of them somehow yes so what i'm hearing oh so you own like cow stocks so what i'm hearing is that you no i own the cow i own the whole cow so you own property that you that you rent out to someone else and then reap profits from it it's, it's their property they get a cut of the profit for taking care of the, the cow that i own for me Rent seeking behavior. Hold on, I need to add a Honestly hammer. Honestly, solid though. I, I need to add a hammer and sickle to, to my character. Hold on. Oh, dear God. Oh, don't worry. I have a, I have a Judeo socialist uh, flag or two on my phone saved. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Judeo socialism? What? What is that? I mean, what, what, uh, social. It's socialism, exactly what it sounds like. I know, but socialism and communism, like the left in general, is pretty. If not anti-religion, then then like a religious. Like it's not like religion doesn't really factor in. It's more about the material, like physical life. Judeo communism is an ex. Expansion of the shtetl lifestyle that was common in Europe, yeah. but without the religious oppression of uh, the youth and values that was common in more extremist areas and is still is common in some extremist areas. You said the shtetl lifestyle. What's that? Shtetl. Shtetl. It's a um, Eastern Euro Eastern European commune, basically a bunch of farmers and shit. Cossacks hated them, Russians hated them, everyone hated them. So, what, what, where does being Jewish factor into it, though? Like, you said no... It was mostly Jews. It was pretty much all Jews. But do you have to be Jews? Like, when you add a religious aspect to an ideology, usually it means that that's, like, sort of required for the ideology. No, the ideology came out of a religious group. Yes. So, it's, therefore, it is so religious... The ethnicity of um, Jewish people and the religion of Jewish people both Are two came out things. of. They both came out of the tribe of Judah, which is a national thing. That nation has theoretically multiple ethnicities and multiple religious sects that come out of it. But it's the national tie that. It's it's kind of uh, like how America is a melting pot. What is the, the ideology? Around. What what is what are the beliefs practiced and and like is it just the history that led to it being called Judeo socialism like or or is it just when yeah, Jews much. are socialists? It's pretty much, yeah. It's a convergent evolution of beliefs. They developed these values on their own, but then the world at large 
popularized it and we developed um, a version, I guess, our own version of it, yeah. So what I'm hearing yeah. is that whenever the right wing so, says that Jews are, are, are to blame for the rise of communism, that you're saying they're right. Um, <laughs> no. no. America is generally to blame for the rise of most issues in the old world. In the old in my world? opinion. I mean, I feel like... Oh dear God! Here I feel we are. like I'm not even beginning to comprehend. <laughs> Here they are. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like I'm Britain, not France, and Spain caused all the problems of the New World, such as colonialism. Okay. But then the New World governments, primarily the U.S. and Canada, have negatively influenced a lot of culture in the Old World, primarily. Um, Russia and China. Okay, but what about the rise uh, of communism being... and socialism in the U.S. as ideologies people believe within the U.S.? That just stemmed from other places doing it and people thinking it was cool that, for a while. Well, the wave of uh, of communism in the U.S. in the mid twentieth century. I mean, right now. From population. I mean, right now. With I mean, I mean, Russia the, and China. I mean, I mean, right now. I mean, currently. Oh, you mean like I mean, right I mean, now? I mean, I call myself a communist. Memes. I, I mean, I mean the memes. You don't think it's because people's life it, lives are shit and they just want an alternative? You think it's because of memes? You think it's ex- like mainly it's not, because ooh. of memes? <laughs> but you got the idea from somewhere, and you got the idea from cultural exchange with Russia and China in the mid twentieth century. Do you know what the original definition of the word meme is? Yeah, I know what the original definition of the word meme is. Fucking kill yourself. You yeah. Oh, yeah. In the sense that fucking <laughs> Carl Sagan or whoever coined it. Yeah, a meme. Like a, 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 a cultural gene. But when you said memes, I know what the fuck you meant. Don't try to weasel word out of it. But am I wrong? Yes, you're wrong. This podcast though. This podcast what? This podcast though. <laughs> it's some a, podcast. What is a podcast? It's just a conversation with people, right? It's just recording a conversation, right? I mean, there's no set topic. I, I like to get no, political. Really. I like to get philosophical. The last guy I recorded with wanted to do media analysis, so we watched Shrek and then we talked about it. Um, <laughs> I mean, no, no, Shrek is good. Like, I, ha ha ha, funny, yeah, Shrek funny, is good. Whatever. So, um, so which uh, Jewish social group uh, symbol should I make my new profile picture? Um, I think uh, the the top right one. I think you should just use the flag of Israel to piss people off. Just straight up. The red and gold mug and David. Or yeah, the mug and David I'd, one. I do that sometimes. I do that in paper.io. I make my block the Israeli flag. The peep, the the guy that joined this server and then and then left after he got into a fight with you about, or was it my server that he joined? I think he joined either my server or this server because I I wanted to invite him to a game, yeah, and then you got into an argument and then he left. That that was the guy that I recorded the last episode with. Nice. Uh, he he has avoided joining my Discord because you're in it actually. Um, but I was like, "Hey, you know, you got here first. Okay. See, that's the thing about uh, anti-Zionist uh, Americans is that they have absolutely no alternative concept. Uh, he doesn't want me in his space, and he doesn't want me in anyone else's space. So where does he want me?" Dun, dun, dun. I don't think it's that he doesn't want you in. It's it's not that, dude. His his he feelings on you, idea. his feelings on you, do not reflect on his his political state. Like he's not. You're doing the but thing. Do. No, no, no. You're doing the thing that people do, where someone doesn't support Israel, and then you you try to imply that they're they're anti-Semitic in general. He doesn't like you. 
he doesn't like you, Yosef, in particular. So he decides not to interact with you. <laughs> I asked him questions about what his solutions would be. I'm not I'm not saying he that he started was, the conversation. I'm not saying that he's right in his argument. I'm just saying that he's not like a bigot or a bad person cuz he doesn't want to interact with you in particular. It's like a pragmatic but solution on his end. Enough, but if you're going to be vocal enough to start an unwarranted conversation about something that should be irrelevant, I'm not the, here to continue the argument you were having saying, with him. The problem, I know. I'm just saying the problem he had wasn't with me. The problem he had was that I wouldn't shut up when he started the conversation. He wanted me to just be quiet and accept his ideas. I don't want to continue talking about drama with another guest on this on this channel. This is not a YouTube drama channel. This is a YouTube politics and philosophy and comedy and music and gaming channel. All right. Bring him in. Bring him in. See if he wants to do a part two on the podcast. No! I am not bringing you two on to have a fucking debate. Especially because you're just going to start linking articles. And I don't want to do any editing and, sh like, putting the shit up on screen. <laughs> I don't need to link articles. I can oh. just dip my circumcised balls on his face <laughs> over and over again. Circumcised balls? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? The the imagery, horrific, horrific. Okay. If I ever get a vasectomy, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that I got my balls circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> turns it into turns it into little tea bags. Uh. <laughs> You, that's, that's how you teabag properly is you gotta circumcise the balls <laughs> you people god um hey at least you'll admit we're people the other guy didn't I, he didn't say you were. I'm not have. I am not going listen <laughs> You keep mischaracterizing him. I don't necessarily want to argue his point, but I feel like you keep mischaracterizing him and, and throwing jabs at him that do not properly reflect the points he was making. He didn't say you weren't people. You're, identity politics. Cringe. Identity politics. Cringe. I have blue hair. I have blue means. hair and I think identity politics cringe. Guys, look at me. I'm not like I'm not like those other people with blue hair. I'm different. I mean, in the end, to me, it doesn't matter who he is or what he believes. He's the problem. Okay. okay. And my circumcised balls are the solution. <laughs> I think I'm going to run into the Joe Rogan problem where I'm just going to get people on my podcast and they're going to say whatever it is they believe and I'm going to let them and I'm going to get people that say contradictory things to each other, right? And then people are just – everybody's going to look at me and they're only going to think about the people that I let on that they in particular dislike and then ignore the other people and then say that I'm platforming bad people. This is what's going to happen. I can see it. I can see getting, like, a thousand subscribers, and then immediately it takes a fucking nosedive. <laughs> I have a question, though. I have an answer. How many do you have at the current moment? I don't know how many YouTube subscribers I have at the current moment. Let me check. I think I have, like, a hundred-something. Okay, how many of them actually watch your content? My videos, I, I get more views than I have subscribers. Let me, let me look at my channel loading up loading surprising up. if this is the content you promise it's not normally i do i do songs <laughs> i do i do songs and i do i do comedy skits most of the time and then sometimes i do gaming videos uh okay. i have 172 yeah, subscribers solid. 172 subscribers okay. and my videos what 36 views 88 views 55 44 103, 76, 93. That jumped. So I, I, 129. 
I so I, I get like somewhere around eighty views per video. Some of them will get will get six hundred and fifteen on that one. So I'm not popular by any means, but I think that I'm getting the attention on YouTube that I deserve. Like as opposed to like Instagram where all of my shit is downplayed in the algorithm and I get two likes per post and one of them is myself. Horrific. Fair enough. Yeah, to Twitter, I, I I don't fuck with that. No. The issue with Twitter happened before it even got bought out. Twitter's always been shit. The idea of a platform. Oh yeah, I know that. Gimmick, which is why I haven't fucked with it. The idea of a platform where the main gimmick is that you you you're limited in how much you can speak, how much you can say in one post. That's fucking stupid. Like you're purposefully like I am a verbose person. I use complex words. You know the meme where it's like like left wing right wing meme. I hate black people. Left left wing meme. Well, um, the thing is, yada 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 yada, and it's a giant wall of text. That's me. I'm the left wing meme. <laughs> That's a way to describe yourself. <laughs> you know what words I use? Please don't. Please don't use those words. I don't want to get taken down for hate speech. <laughs> Please, I don't want to have to edit this. Please, please, <laughs> Yosef, please. Don't worry, I have a sensor. I have a sensor ready. <laughs> I know where you live. You can't stop these circumcised balls. By the way, um, never mind. I'm not gonna air out that dirty laundry on on chat. I'm, I'm not. Never mind. Have a good day. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. Oh. Um, what? Nothing. Say what? I... Say what? What? Whoa. Uh, does anyone else have something to say? I, I can't have dead air. Yeah, dead, dead air is bad. Um, have here. What is he saying? Is he saying bad things? No, he's singing have a, have a Nagila. I don't know what that is. Bar, bar mitzvah song. Okay. It's uh. I know that melody. Yeah, it's Havan Nagila. Okay. Um. I could sing one of the psalms about about some foreskins. You could. You could do like anything else. You could do anything else. You could, but you could also not. Yeah. Our ancestors. Your we're so ancestors. very we're basically like we're like we're like the pugs of people. Oh my god. Like, don't okay, say that. Me. Okay, you, like... you don't want another genocide. Right? <laughs> don't compare yourself to pugs. Pugs eight... need to be eradicated. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, like five to eight thousand years ago. We were like badass warrior nomads, and we started a royal dynasty with a guy that severed like 300 foreskins in a day, put them in a bag, and dropped them on some rich dude's floor. Now, now we're asthmatic. <laughs> that's what a that's what a that's what a genetic bottleneck does to people. <laughs> Here's the funny thing, I don't have asthma. It's because you're a half-breed. Yeah, fair. So, another... Aren't we, aren't you a half-breed too? Me? Or him? Him, right? I'm just, him. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just white. Yeah, you're just, you're just a dude. What I'm the, the white, I'm, the issue is, I'm the kind of white where I'm only white because we live in the 21st century, and if you went back 60 years... They would call me the N word just like anyone else, and they would fucking beat the shit out of me because because my last name would end in a vowel. <laughs> Bro, you're only white in the Eastern U.S. You're not even white if you go to the wrong state in this country. 
are there still people in the U.S. that are racist against white people? Do we still got like the yeah. like, the no blacks or Irish allowed signs? They're coming back. Yeah, I mean, there's people have always been racist against Mediterraneans. That's never gone away. Damn. Good thing my last name is a German last name, a Jewish German last name. <laughs> Uh oh. It is. That's the weird part is that no one in my family is Jewish. Uh, nobody in my family has stories of anyone in my family being Jewish, but it is a, a Jewish German last name. It's pretty typical of Jews. Yeah. What is to forget that you guys that forget that you're Jewish? Like, what do you mean? Pretty much. Intentionally yeah. withholding it from your children. That's a really bad thing to do. Why would you. When you feel. <laughs> When your whole thing is being God's chosen people and being part of, like, this huge tradition and, like, trying to, like, be as numerous as the stars or whatever, why would you forget to tell your kids or purposefully not? That's that's sad. Because you watched six million of your cousins die in front of you? Well, how are we going to get that population back? How are we going to get that population back if we don't remember we're Jewish and then have lots of babies and that's how Chabad started I don't know what that is <laughs> I can't stop stop that's way too loud no the soundboard is hurting my ears and I don't know how to change the volume <laughs> no, no, I have you volume. considered getting good <laughs> is, that, is that doing it epic um what? <laughs> He's just bullying you now. <laughs> I can't really hear it anymore. You're uh, being bullied by a, by a Jew who doesn't have asthma. How do you feel? The best thing about cyberbullying is you can just kind of ignore it. I turn down the volume. I can't hear any of it. Whatever. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've but already, I'm not actually cyberbullying. I've already been emotionally scarred by a Jew before. I think I've talked to you about this, but here, here's where I share this story with the public. I had a crush on a Jewish girl when I was in high school. Beautiful, beautiful woman. Same. And she person. said no? She, she was gay. Worst. She was gay. Skill issue. Skill issue? Skill issue. I think I, I, I've, told, I've, told, I've told Yusuf about this before. Yusuf, right? Not Yosef, Yusuf. Both are incorrect, and how, both are equally accurate. How did you pronounce it before? I'm... Okay, Uncle Joey. That is that is how Uncle I. Uh, that's, that's when you asked. That is what I said because that is what I knew you could say. Whatever. Oh my God. Um, your your mouth cannot form the proper words to describe my identity. My true name can't be said in your human tongue. <laughs> um, Pretty much. <laughs> okay, Shem Shali Yosef Ben Zava. That's too long for me to remember. Part of it isn't even his name. He's just saying, my name is. Like Eminem? Like when he's like, ah, my <laughs> name is... My name is Sin Pretty Lady. much. <laughs> okay, Gem this is pretty much. Is Seth. So, so my evil plan, my funny evil plan, right? So this 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 girl, uh, I, I don't... Her name was Sheridan. Um, she... Like she, the she, hotel? I don't know. The only person I ever knew with that name. Um, she was gay. You're surprised that a Jewish American princess's first name was after a rich building? Princess? I don't know if I'd call her. I mean, she. she no. So she was gay, right? And I recently have been having gender struggles, right? And um, I, I always thought I, I talked to Yusuf about this. I thought it'd be really funny. I'm not like this isn't intentional, right? Like separately, my gender struggles have come about. One day, I imagine this hilarious fucking scene where I've transitioned, right? And I'm, I'm, I, I look like a woman. I probably still sound like a man because I like my manly voice. Um, and I just stumble upon her in public one day, and I'm like, "Oh my God, Sheridan, it's you! I've changed for you. Do you remember me?" Like, like as if like my entire life had just been about this girl. To, to like, how much I want that would fuck with you psychologically. <laughs> like, imagine if someone you rejected in high school. Kate, like, just happened upon you on the street one day and was still, like, a fucking obsessed with you and had, like, changed, like, gone through, like, a major life event just in the hopes that you would like them. 
That's the point in which I'd put a bag over their head, drag them to the nearest lake, tie a cement brick to their foot, and then throw them into the lake. OMG, he touched me. <laughs> and now you're drowning. I can make that. Dead air. What if instead okay, of dead air happened, I just said the word dead air to fill space? You know, that would work. Hell, it might even get you more money from YouTube revenue. <laughs> make money off of YouTube. Fuck that. Fuck anyone who makes money off of YouTube. If you are a professional YouTuber, fuck you. Honestly. Fair YouTube enough. Not, I hate... The profit incentive has ruined the quality of YouTube videos over the years, and it has changed what YouTube is about for people. YouTube used to be an image hosting website where you uploaded videos that you thought were interesting or you thought were fun, and now people do it for money. I hate capitalism. What about Twitch stream? What about Twitch streaming? I don't have as much of an issue with Twitch because Twitch has always been what it is. My issue with Twitch comes from the fact that they are under the umbrella of Amazon, and I have issue with Amazon. And that's my main thing. Okay, so communism essentially. I, Socialism, more you can like. Have issues with Amazon without being a communist. Yeah, true. I mean, you, can, like, you can be a capitalist that 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 still you know boycotts things that you dislike. That's sort of the only solution capitalists have is boycotting. Because if you're not going to make major changes to the system, you have to change the way you consume. Right. I, I can't be the only per. I I am like pretty far left. As far as America is concerned, though, I on a global scale, on a like on a global level, I'm like dead center. But like as far as the American, you know, sort of political spectrum, I, I would be considered far left. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I am. If you want to get pretentious, you could call me a a market socialist. <laughs> uh, what do you think I have the political compass memorized or some shit? Political compass is dog shit. The political compass was made by the the kind of people that would land on the libertarian left side to try to convince everyone that they were on the libertarian left. All of the questions are very biasedly asked, very like 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 weasel wordy, if that makes any sense. And the political yeah. compass also isn't like an accurate description of like how people actually categorize themselves politically. It, it combines the economic and and social axes to be the same thing. Like some like if you look at someone like a like a, an ANCAP, right? Uh, hypothetically, an ANCAP. The fuck is that? Anarcho-capitalist. Basically, take liberalism and take it to the extreme. Take it to the everyone has complete freedom to do whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anyone. Oh, right? so and the market anarchy. Is, the market is the only force that that dictates anything. It's all about buying and selling. There is no government. Everything is provided by a private a private uh, company, right? That's, that that's sounds like cyberpunk. Um, cyberpunk is much worse. Cyberpunk is where we're headed, where it's it's anarcho capitalism, except there is a government and the government exists to protect those businesses instead of letting them die off like they naturally would sometimes. That's where we're headed. Are you ready? Are you ready to have Cyber Eyes owned by Amazon? You know how you yeah. don't own your phone? Yeah. Imagine not owning your arm. Okay. Horrific. That's neat. Horrific. I mean, I guess it's not that horrific because I'll never be able to afford uh, any cyborg parts, right? Yeah, that's that's exactly my point. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't give a shit because I won't be able to. <laughs> Man-made horror is well within my comprehension. <laughs> I would love to bring Nikola Tesla like to the modern world just to show him the fucked up shit. Oh, dear God. He thought that he thought that radio-controlled missiles were like, oh, oh, man-made horror is beyond my comprehension. Oh, oh, missiles that you can launch from far away. Oh. Like that. That. Was oh dear horror. God. That, was that poor he, man. Yeah, he treated that the way that Lovecraft characters treat all elder gods. Could you imagine if he saw fucking 
AI voices and, and, and chat GPT and, and fucking algorithms meant to hijack your reward system. And cars named after him. Cars na- self-driving cars <laughs> named after him, yeah. Yeah. I think, the thing is, I think as long as you can keep up with the development in technology, the horrors can remain within your comprehension. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like... It's not that hard to comprehend the horrors. You just... It's yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like how... It's like... Looking at us now, we look back and we see, like, the first cars or whatever. Those things were basically hand-cranked. That's simple as fuck. And you you move along through... uh, (laughs) You know what else is hand-cranked? Yes, I do. (laughs) I'm very well aware. But I don't want you getting a TOS strike, so I'm not gonna say it. PP. PP's hand... Fucking retarded, I'm sorry. (laughs) The scary thing is, is that when you look at history as, like, a line looking back, it's really obvious. Like, the things that happen, of course this is the next thing that happens after this, right? Like... Like that's well, that, that's that's just hindsight in a nutshell. No, and then going forward, like the like, how do I put it? Um, the entire world could be destroyed in nuclear hellfire next year, and in a hundred years, people are gonna look back and be like, "Oh, of course that's what happened. Look at all these things leading up to it." But we don't know until it actually happens. Well, uh, that's the thing. We we can at least look at like previous warning signs in the past like oh this led to this maybe this could be connected to this and this could lead to blank but there are things happening now that just didn't happen in the past like war always happened right war always happened yeah and always happened war always, always happened. happened yep but yep. we didn't have the level of automation we have now we didn't have you know systems that could generate well, text and and impersonate a human enough to okay. steal your grandma's like, like information. Like they, are, they, they can make, that, they can make, the they can make AI voices of individual people now. Like, like someone could yeah, get deepfakes. audio logs of my voice and call my grandma from a spoofed number, not just like spam texts. Yes. Yeah. Deep fakes. Yes, That's but not just deep fakes of celebrities, like of regular ass people. Yeah, of regular people. Um. The thing is, though. If you look too much in the, into the details of how, you start not being able to see the why. And if that doesn't make sense, I'll explain it in it a second. I'm still trying sense. to... Okay, I, I'm sorry. I I got back from another country like two fucking days ago. I'm still jet-lagged as hell. The why is money. It's always so, money. It always comes down to money. No, no. I, I mean more like why the so we're talking about how events hindsight is 2020 but looking forward it's a lot more difficult okay and i was saying in particular i'm sorry no what i'm 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 saying like if you keep if you look too much into the details of what is happening and how it's different from the past you start to not be able to see the connections to what has already happened that we can take and use to move forward and not get fucked over. So like for just as a out of whack example from whatever deep recesses of bullshit this is coming from in my mind. So you have AI, right? Yes. People are concerned about it taking jobs. So yeah, I don't think that's the only thing people are concerned about, but I actually have a whole thing that I, 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 I'm, I'm, I have a whole thing. I'm, I'm just so using it. Sure. I'm just I'm just using it as an example. Right. It's a really dumb example, but it's an example. If you look back, people have always, always been afraid of, like, for example, machines, just machines in general, factories, automation, just that shit industrial era type mass production people were afraid of that what happened to humanity afterwards um 
the industrial era led to leaps and bounds in advancement in pretty much all fields. Like medicine was able to be mass produced finally. So that got to more places. Things got better. So I think. Yes. It, it, you see my point though. It's like. So I think the concern a lot of people have with AI isn't just jobs being taken away, but about. Like, like I said, deep fakes of real people. And, you know, people are... Yeah, like so, so, identity security. Yes, yeah, so I have a whole thing. I have two whole things, if you if you would give me the floor. Um, is that all go right? Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so one, yeah. I think that the idea that you can trust the internet was dumb to begin with. I think having fact checkers oh, and, sure. and being like, oh, we have, to, we have to crack down on misinformation online is the exact opposite solution to what I have. My solution is just to say, hey, guys, you were retarded for believing anything you saw online to begin with. The internet isn't real, and I think it has become too big of a thing in people's lives. I think people no longer use the internet. People live on the internet. People assume that things they see online is real first and then disbelieve it when shown otherwise. You know what I mean? I, I, mm -hmm. I, I think the idea the internet is trustworthy was dumb to begin with. And then instead of going, it oh, is. guys, this is false information, you should just, like, let retards believe stupid shit and let everyone else not be retarded. Like, that might be a, a kind of a rude way of putting it. But that, that's how I see that. You know what I mean? Um, there is a genuine like, concern, Like, let idiots though. be idiots. They're gonna yes. keep being idiots there regardless. There is a genuine concern for, like, individual attacks. Like, for example, someone calling my grandma using my voice. Right? That's something I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really concerned about like a speech where Joe Biden is like, we have to blow up Iran with a giant nuke. Right? Whatever. Whatever. Um, but I think the thing, that's, the, that's what people are scared of. People are scared of not just jobs, but the... the identity theft, essentially. Identity theft, the end of truth. This idea that like you can't trust anything, period. Um, well, you shouldn't have before. Shouldn't it's have kind before, of the fucking but I mean, point. What happens whenever news stations? <clears throat> what happens when news stations start faking clips? They've always been bullshit, regardless, and biased as hell. So, so you, why you should I care? You can't trust the internet, which is a given. You can't trust the media. Yeah. You can't trust the government because they're biased as fuck. Yeah. So the, the government, who you trust, trust them to begin the only with, thing you could ever trust is, 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 is not even your friends. Not e not even your friends. People you know in real life, not, that, not that, like people online, like real friends. Well, that depends on your outlook, but I think you can depend. Like, uh, and my second, really? my second, big thing, my second big thing. Hmm. Um, I do think automation is going to be the end of the world as we know it. I don't think it's going to be the end of humanity. I so my view, my outlook for us, like the people in this call and like people like us, is very bleak. Very, very bleak. But I think the outcome for humanity is very bright. I think that automation is – so the thing – I'm going to sound like a commie here. The thing about capitalism is that it really only serves to help the people at the top and the people at the bottom get what Who they already need. have money. Yeah. The people at the bottom get what they need to continue serving the people at the top. Just like any other power structure or societal structure – it's it's it, it really funnels everything up to a point. It's a pyramid scheme. The thing is, yeah. the people at the top don't really need the people at the bottom to make money. Like they can replace people, they can automate jobs. And I think what's going to happen eventually is that we are going to become obsolete. We are no longer going to serve a purpose to people who can replace us with machines, not just in one job, but in every field, right? And I think that at some point Okay, this is I gonna got one word for you. You know, you know the idea of of uh, the the meme of of gay luxury space communism, where where just everything in society yeah. is automated. I think we're gonna end up at a yep. point where the working class is going to literally starve and die and be killed off, and the ruling class are going to live a life of of uh, luxury gay space communism where all of their automated machines provide for them and all of the people that used to provide for them are just going to be dead and then all of humanity is going to be descendant of these powerful people who 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 you know exploited all the people at the bottom and survived and so humanity is going to do great humanity is going to be going to be have every need taken care of and is going to live a life in the lap of luxury and none of us are going to get to see those benefits one word. 
I Actually, a, a few words. You only have one word. One, that's one, one, main, okay. one main word. Okay. Long before that happens. That's five words already. Long before that happens. Four words already. No, I'm, I'm getting to the one word. Okay, that's like 12 words. Long before words that somewhere. happens. You're using a lot Dude, of words. Give up. me the one word. <laughs> revolution. Oh, yeah, because we all know that a revolution is totally possible and... All revolutions happen naturally, and it's... That's fucking retarded, dude. That is the stupidest shit I've heard all day. There's not going to be a revolution in the United States that, that, that does I'm not anything saying a violent now. one. A non-violent revolution is never going to happen. The political system, at least in the U.S., is, is set up so that voting doesn't matter. And a violent revolution is easily going to be stomped out oh. by the most powerful military in the world. The only time revolutions happen is if a larger outside governing force is backing the insurgents. That's it. And you know who usually backs those insurgents? The U.S. government. So, I don't see it happening. And if there is a revolution in the U.S., it's going to be a right-wing revolution, and I'm going to get killed because I'm a trainee. Yeah. Dead air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my, my brain isn't doing me any favors, I'm gonna be real. Yusuf, you sound like you 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 uh you sound like you comprehend exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Although it is possible for an outside group to uh lead insurgencies in the US. Like who, China? Bro is about to Bro, bro is about to bring back the Ottoman Empire, I swear to God. Cirque, if you personally start a revolutionary... Fuck, I said you're... Fuck. Yusuf. Who cares? Who um, fucking cares? Hey, what if we re-recorded all this? Time for take three. <laughs> do you care? Do take you, I, three. I can, I can edit that out, but do you really care? No. Okay. If if you personally start an insurgent group, I will I will join it. Otherwise, no thanks. Uh, this is all. This is all parody. If I join by the way. it, this is all parody. If I, if I join it, yeah, this is all parody satire. Please do not. I mean, look at the um, pictures. Harass we're, any we're, individuals. We're, mess. We're we're blue, Mister Popo, so, a furry, and somebody with pink hair. This is clearly all. We're all playing characters. So, <laughs> so characters. since we're on the topics of me leading an insurgency and bringing back the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> oh lord. Um, <laughs> I uh, just, sit I, back. I, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say one thing that or you just said one I thing. will I will not say how. <laughs> It'll be not. one action. Let's not. One action. Guys, Wait. I don't want to get banned. Hang on. No. <laughs> hey, hang on. You won't get banned. All right. No. No one will ever figure this out. I don't want to, no to be ever make FBI. I don't want the FBI on me for some shit no, you say. Okay. Can we not? It's okay. No, it's no, not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. That's how it's gonna happen. It's not okay. Gonna... I don't want you sure. hinting at sure. anything. I don't want I don't want to be No, no, you should. I will stop recording, I swear to God. <laughs> Alright. So no. He's not gonna say anything bad. I think I know where this is going. Let let him cook. No, you don't know. I have never spoken these words aloud. Text this. Text this okay. in the chat. I don't know where he's going, but still let him cook. No, text this in let the chat. Type know. this in the chat and send it as a message have... and then let me thumbs up or thumbs down it, all right? Please? No. No. Just let then him I'm cook. Not going I want to see talk. where this goes. I will mute you in, in my let recording. Let him cook. I'm muting him in the recording. Sounds hot. I'm... Okay. Dude. That's fine. Please. If you want to censor me, go for it. That just adds value. I don't want to get in legal trouble. I've already had the FBI knocking at my door when I was a teenager. I don't want them coming back. Okay. So anyway, um, one action would lead to world peace. Okay. What? I will not explain how. I will not explain the connections. I will not explain my subsequent plans after. Your plan. So but this is something you're planning. Someday, maybe when I'm like 60 or, or something. But someday, right? So someday, uh, there's a group that lived in the southern Syria region of the Ottoman Empire. I had various points, Palestine, Israel, what have you. 
Uh, they are called Hashemranim, or in English, the Samaritans. There's about 800 of them left right now, surviving ethnic cleansings and all that sort of thing. Are they good? Are they a good uh, Samaritan? They are... No comment. Uh, they are ethnically identical to Jews. Uh, they're an different religious sect though um, but they the difference is that their temple was in a different place and I believe that if their temple were rebuilt it would cause a chain reaction of global events that would lead to world peace and a unified Middle East it sounds to me like you're not really ta- – okay. I am I was so worried you were about to be like – like, he, like okay, whatever. Th- that's so innocuous. I, I, thought not, he, I, I thought he was going the genocide route. I thought he I've was – I've not been lying. No, it's not – I didn't think you were going genocide. You thought I was going the genocide – you thought I was going the genocide route and you told him to let me talk? <laughs> yeah. What we a got bro. a true free speech warrior here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think what you're talking about is probably based in a religion that I don't believe about some kind of, like, reclaiming of, of territory. So, like, whatever. That's on the same level as, like, the Christians that support Israel because they want the fucking biblical apocalypse. Whatever. No, I mean, they still live there. They still have the land. They just don't have the money to rebuild it. Then give them your money. When you're old and rich, give them your money. Is that what your plan is? Yes, more okay, or cool. less. Can I have some of the money, too? Like, just because just I'm no. lazy and I want to make art? You already have some of my money. I do, and I will pay you back because I have the money to pay you back right now. At the end of this recording, I'll give you... I, I will. When we're done recording this. <laughs> okay, can I have $5? No. Now, this man... This man's okay. real as fuck, by the way. Like, he, he's helped me <laughs> on multiple occasions when I needed it. He's been, he's been there for me more than most people have, just in general. Like, on money, yeah, but, like, just to talk to half the time. I mean, he's he's not, like, good at, with people or, like, like any amount of social skills, but he's, he tries. Like I he's know. He's there. Like, that's that's real as fuck. You a real one. You, you a real one. I can be great with people. I just choose not to be. Okay, then that's kind of rude when I come to you crying about missing my girlfriend. <laughs> no, that's rude then, because I come to you, like, because I'm breaking down because I miss my girlfriend, and you're, like, kind of, like, a stone face about it, and I assume that's just because you have autism and not because you're being a dick. No, yeah, I am a... Okay, earlier today, he tried to ask me if I was autistic without asking me if I was autistic, and I called him out immediately. You're a gay furry. You have I autism. asked him if... I know. I asked him if he stacked cans in the kitchen as a child. <laughs> so hold on, and there is a specific enough thing. Yusuf, are are did, that he knew? Did you purposefully like not hmm? show much empathy when I came to you about my girlfriend? Was that like on purpose, just being a dick? I kind of just thought that's how you no, were. You were just... kind of just like a like a like a sort of detached person that's not good with people. Okay, so now I've had multiple empathy training courses over the course of years and I have the engine you could say to I didn't produce think, I didn't think this is making you sound like a sociopath during this uh, during I that have... conversation I didn't think you lacked empathy I thought you just didn't know the right thing to say I mean yeah it takes a lot of it takes a lot more fuel to get a lot less out for me. So trying to be empathetic or trying to say the quote-unquote right things is very, very difficult unless and My point is that I felt like you did understand... I mean, uh, it, during that conversation, I thought you did understand, like, you did have empathy, and then you just didn't know how to, how to help. That's what that seemed like to me. You're making it sound a lot worse than I, I, I assumed. I mean, yeah, that's... 
understood you were upset. I just didn't know how to help. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's legit. That's legit. You're... Like I said, this... Ow! Fuck! I, I hurt myself. This guy's a real one, man. Like, you're not a perfect person, but you've been there, like I said, more than most people have. That was the point that I was trying to make. You're one of my best friends, man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this Jeez. new guy, on the other hand... It, it, I don't know about this guy. Well, we'll have to see about it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you alright, bud? I was just I was just joking around. I have negative charisma. Every time I hear myself, like, I'm gonna listen back to this podcast and realize just how much of a dick I was being this whole time. I hate to hear my own <laughs> voice and the tone that I use. I get why people don't like me on instinct. I, I, I have negative charisma. Dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air. Dead air, dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Yeah, I, d- dead air. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm I'm usually like a lot more talkative when my brain isn't like fucking six hours ahead of where I'm supposed to be. When it's not all recorded online for anyone to see forever. When when someone didn't yeah, jump scare you with recording a fucking podcast a half hour ago. Yeah. Uh, definitely not what I expected tonight to end up being. <laughs> hey, what do you know? This is how every this is how every podcast should be. People should walk up to someone who doesn't know that they're about to be recorded in a podcast and say, "Hey, you want to record a podcast with me?" And that's what they do. It it it's so much more interesting to catch people off guard. I'm evil as fuck. Uh, that's fair. Um. If you were to put yourself, if you were to put yourself, uh, I, I'm not actually evil. If you, uh, ooh, <laughs> if if you if if you were to put yourself on a D and D alignment chart, where would you put yourself, Faye? Um, when I'm at full capacity. Don't lie. Don't um, don't be disingenuous about yourself either. <clears throat> Honestly, chaotic good. Are you actually chaotic good, or do you want to be chaotic good? Because to actually be chaotic good would be to put a huge target on your back in today's world. Uh, yeah. Do you I frequently mean, break the sh- law to help people? Yeah. See, that's the problem. Is li- Your ideals might be chaotic good, but what are your actions? Actions? I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just a, uh, I just work as a fucking cashier. I'm a, I'm a fucking nobody. I don't get this shit. See, that's the thing with me is like, I, I want to be chaotic good. I, I like to think that I would be in the best circumstances, but I'm a fucking coward. I'm neutral. At the end of the day, I'm just neutral. I've done, I, I do good things sometimes. I break the law sometimes, but I also am a selfish piece of shit sometimes. I also don't do good things when I know I should. You know what I mean? So I said, don't lie to yourself. Hmm. Actually, I'm bad at that. I guess I would, I would assume you were chaotic neutral. Me or him? Him. Well, where would you put yourself? I mean, yeah, I guess actually, because I don't really. I actually, I want to I want to hear your reasoning behind that. You constantly question authority, including the structure of your own childhood and upbringing. I think with no particularly moral direction for your future. Questioning authority is easy, but what about actually acting against authority? I. Th- you know, yeah, that, that's where the chaotic goat comes in. Yeah. He actively argues with authority. Then I'm chaotic neutral too. I don't know. I don't think I don't. I don't take words as being that meaningful. You know. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, how... Hold, hold, hold the fuck up. Hold that thought. Hold that fucking thought right there. Um, hold where up. She? Dead air. Dead air. I... Dead air. Nope. Nope. I got this. Isn't it you who said words have power? That's why it's called hmm? spelling. <laughs> words have power, exactly. that's why it's called spelling. Yeah, it was a fucking joke, dude. Genuine autism moment. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to 
wanted to bring it up. Don't, don't. Isn't it crazy how all of the movies... Don't we... execute me just isn't because it... I wanted to... I have a point. I have a point I want to make. Um, Isn't it crazy... <laughs> Okay, I can't I can't keep doing the voice. Isn't it crazy how okay, growing up, it. all of the all of the movies and shit that we watched were about outcasts um, b- fighting the system and like being genuinely rebellious and and to some uh, to some degree terrorists sometimes. And <laughs> nobody has any empathy for outcasts. You know, weirdos are still seen as weirdos, and uh, no revolution has come. What's how do you how do you look? Movies that you watch. Star Wars and The Hunger Games. And Avatar, The Last Airbender. I mostly watch, like, Lord of the Rings. Star Wars, Avatar, and and The Hunger Games were all about rebellion against an evil system. Can you shut the fuck up? Holy shit. How many times are you going to say over? Over. Over. Kill yourself. Now. No. So the Hunger Games, Avatar, and Star Wars are all about actual rebellion against an evil system, and any myriad of movies are about outcasts that just want acceptance. Shrek, Sky High. Uh, Bro, Sky others? High, fucking Sky High. I haven't seen that movie in years. I, Why did you just unlock that dude, deep Sky ass memory? Sky High was my second favorite movie as a kid due to a Shark Boy and Lava Girl and Sky High. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. You keep unlocking parts of my brain I thought I had forgotten. Keep unlocking? What what else did I did I unlock? Just those two, Shark Boy and Lava Girl and Sky High. Shark Boy and Lava Girl was my shit. Mr. Electric, send him to the penis explosion chamber and have his penis exploded immediately. He ruined my dream journal! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric, kill him! <laughs> that, that movie was, was really low quality, but it's amazing when you find out. <laughs> it was like, here's, here's the thing about it, dude. That was a gift. The director made that for his it son. Was. Shark Boy and Lava Girl were characters his son made up. Imagine being a kid and getting a fucking movie made after two characters you came up with. That's gonna be the best shit ever. For real? For real, for real. Oh, God. <laughs> no cap. So, similarly to how you have to keep up with the horrors, uh, I think you have to keep up with slang, too, because I think if you just, like, disappeared for ten years yeah. and came back in ten years, the English language would be unrecognizable. I think it is. Slang... It already is, from what I was talking, like, like fucking ten years ago. It's completely different. Yeah, slang and, and language is developing at an accelerated rate. So is culture. I mean, everything is happening faster and faster. At what point? It's the internet. It's, the internet has, has caused this acceleration for sure. Uh, like, at what point are we going to wake up and every week we have a new set of, uh, of words? Like, at what point is, 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 is like, the rise and fall of media? Once the, iPad, once the iPad children start growing up. We're fu- we're all fucked, but I, I think that Gen Alpha we're is, fucked, is yep. even more fucked. I feel like Gen Z had a little bit of time to discover the world before they had a, a device shoved in their face, and they sort of understand the insidious nature of a lot of things because these things were introduced throughout their childhood. And Gen Alpha is jumping into these things already having been introduced. You know what I mean? Like the mm-hmm. idea of a free to play game was new to me as a kid. It used to be you had to pay for the games, and then later it was oh they're free with ads. And they have microtransactions, but that's that's not novel to, to these younger kids. That's how it's always been. You know, everything is monetized. Everything is used to get you addicted. We are all addicts. I sound like such a fucking boomer, but I feel like it needs to be said. We are all addicts. Yes, and that's bad. Addiction is bad, guys. <laughs> Hot take. I think addiction is bad. Dead air, yes, dead air, dead air. <laughs> if you, if you... I, I, I don't. Here's the thing. All that like older shit where you just paid for the thing and you don't have to worry about ads. That's all I'll ever play, really, unless there's like something new that doesn't have ads that my computer can somehow run. I hate games as a live service. I hate season passes. I don't really like multiplayer games in general. Dude, I 
I despise them too. Why? Why? Why do you think? Like, like remember whenever you could buy just... Ratchet and Clank, and Ratchet had a bunch of different outfits he 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 got that you could just get by playing the game or even using cheat codes. Yeah, you unlock them instead. Yeah, nowadays you would have like, to like you'd have to like pay fifteen bucks to make him look like a snowman. So, one of my most played games is just Skyrim. Like that. That's that's it. It's. Don't they have paid mods now? That I don't buy because I'm not cringe. You're you're a gay autistic furry. I, no three words could be more cringe. Don't lie to me. You're not cringe <laughs> in that way. You have a solid point. You know what isn't cringe? The sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Dude, at some point... Or NordVPN. At some point, a, a product is trying too hard, and I'll never... Like, most of the... At this point... Okay, I go out of my way to comment in every YouTube video that has a, a sponsor that I disliked the video and vow to never use the sponsor. And I do. If I see your product advertised on YouTube, I will never use it because fuck you, you're ruining YouTube, you know? Never use NordVPN. Never use Skillshare. I'm never touching Nebula with a, fu a fucking 20-foot pole. <sighs> Take a stand. Remind, remind people that the way things cool. used to be, all right? Back in my day. Back in my Should day. I just, like, boot up a Stellaris game? You can do whatever you want. I don't give a shit what you do, as long as it doesn't interfere with the recording. Yeah. Live your life, King. If you look at my art, uh, you don't you don't really know about this. I, I make art. I'm a webcomic artist. I, I do music sometimes. Okay. I do individual art pieces. Neat. And I, okay, let me fucking finish my point, maybe? <laughs> a lot of my, my art recently has been about addiction, actually. About addiction and about, like, body issues. Um, which wouldn't be surprising to anyone that knows me, but this kind of ties back into the whole thing where I said we're all addicts. Um, because I'm not... A lot of creators say that there's, like, this dopamine loop that you get into where, like, like the number goes up and you, you live your life around the number going up, but I've never been successful as a creator online. You know what I mean? I have... 70, which is why the number... The number doesn't go up. So I, I, I make yeah. these things because of my own love of making the things. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. I I was in a juvenile detention center and I was still making my art and nobody else saw it but I still made it. You would have to physically tie me down and cut off my hands to stop me from making my art. You know what I mean? Um mm -hmm. But it does really frustrate me that the number doesn't go up. But I'm still an addict to things on the internet. It's just not on the creator side. I I don't, you know what I mean? I don't create jack shit. I don't help society in any way, shape, or form. Why do you have to? In help fact, society? I'm the scum. I'm the, I'm the scum that most of them want to kill. Who says you have to so, help society? Pro the the, exactly. the the myth of productivity is a capitalist psyop. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh oh, Naga's woke. Uh oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to fucking put it. But um, I mean. There's, there's a difference between hyper productivity and working yourself to death and just, you know, helping the world in some way. Do you need to help the world or there's you just need a big to difference. in your life? Do you really have a responsibility to someone who you've never met? Dead air, 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 dead air. Dead if air. You'd stop screaming that for a second, I'd be able to think. <laughs> dead air, dead air. Yusuf, do you I'm gonna hop add? off. Damn! I've gotten okay, my got anything to add. computer okay, you're ordered. Off, let's just end it. Damn. Oof. Wow, you sorry. Sound, you sound like you do not give a shit. <laughs> It was a good run, guys. This sucked. This podcast sucks. I might cancel the idea. Everyone, have a good night. Do you guys have anything you want to plug? Do you have anyone you want to shout out? Um, Circumcised balls. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give a shout out to this episode's sponsor. 